fantastic crowd. There's at least three or four hundred people here. The decision by UK Borders Agency to revoke the Tier 4 status for the university and threaten the very existence in this country of 2,600 students is a disgusting attack on them, on the university, but think of it in the wider context. It's a threat to every university and every college in this country. The management have been, uh, we understand, has passed a 21-page letter from the UKBA which states what the UKBA sees are the problems. Uh, the unions, this, this Unison, UCU, we've requested this and we haven't received this, so we're in the dark as much as anybody. But the, what the important thing is, is our international students and our home students, indeed everyone at London Met, staff, students, um, the local community, which are predominantly working class communities in North and East London, which London Met serves. The university is now in grave danger because of the financial implications of this. UKPA! Deportations go away! UKPA! Deportations go away! The decision by UKPA is perverse to say the least, is taken on the basis of a very small sample. If there are problems with individual students, visas and so forth, then those problems should be tackled. The UKBA should work in partnership with, with the London Met to sort out these. But banning all international students, those, those with excellent English, those who have no visa problems, is a complete overreaction. I would like to convey this message to the UKBA and the government that I can speak English. I can speak English. Can you hear me? I'm not speaking in any alien language. As you can see here, all the students here, we're speaking in English, right? You know, everyone's understanding. There's no one here with a little translation book or anything. We all, we, these are all complete eligible students who fulfilled every criteria. They paid for the visas. They paid all the tuition fees. They've got all their, you know, education levels and everything to come to this country. It's unfair that for a country that actually propagates democracy and human rights, to wake up one morning and say, hang on a minute, you do not have any right to study at London Med. I am not begging the UKBA for anything that is not our right, but we are asking that they should allow current students in London Med to actually complete their education in London Med. I do not think it's fair for us to be coerced into going to another university to complete our education when we have paid to study at London Med. The students here have paid up to 30 grand. Because they've paid a lot, a lot of them don't have money now. They, they don't know what to do to decide if they're going to move to another uni or what. Because even if they do move to another uni, they're going to have to start from first year, so they have to arrange a whole lot of money again. So it's very difficult. The UKBA, they know how to call the international students into their country, take their money from them, and then now they want to send us back home. This is unreasonable. International students are not shared by the party of British government. Rather, we are here that we pay huge amount of tuition fee to the British government and we contribute huge amount of money to the British government. We are here to let the government know that their immigration policy targeting the genuine students of London Met is against human rights. If, if they were to come to this country as Berg students um, to work or whatever they're assuming, um, they would actually be paying um, more to come to this country than how much they will actually earn. We've worked it out. We would not abide with what I've said. We would not leave UK. And we would not allow them to watch the few and wonderful UK people to, eat, to actually go watch them telling them that we are illegal immigrants. Hey, 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 ho, ho, Theresa May has got to go. Say hey, hey, ho, ho, Theresa May has got to go. International students in the UK are treated like criminals. We're monitored by lecturers, we're monitored by the police, and we're constantly smeared in the media. And to add insult to injury, the Home Office and politicians continue to vilify and criminalize international students just for political points. This is racist government policy being disguised as somehow some legal control. No, it's not. This is the bigoted wing of the Tory party attacking our students for political expediency. Just like to say that PCS's National Executive Committee have passed the paper today fully in support of what's happening on the ground here. It shouldn't be a question that students are penalised for the bureaucratic mistakes of others. The UKBA have identified certain issues with London Met systems back in the spring, back in March this year. 
and they had five or six months London Met to put the uh, to sort out those those issues, which is massively important because they thought, knew full well what the consequences would be. But they spent the last five or six months uh, making overtures to the private sector in their bid to privatise the university. They want to outsource the whole support services and what they call shared services, and they've been trying to get a partner, setting up a partnership with the London School of Business and Finance. So the time they should have been spent sorting out the problems what problems the UKBI identified, they actually spent messing around, making, making, uh, trying to privatise the support services of the university. In the last six months we've had a campaign. The slogan has been education, not privatisation. In the last two months we've told management if they continue with their privatisation agenda we will trigger an industrial action ballot for strike action to defeat their plans for privatisation. Our new slogan today is education, not deportations. This is our number one priority. We remember Joy Gardner, who was killed during a forcible deportation in 1993. The same Joy Gardner that we named our student union in the city after, which is about to be closed down. We're here today to remember Joy Gardner and all of the people who have been deported from this country. And we say no more. No more deportations. No more privatisation. Education for the masses, not just for the ruling classes. We are now going to take the petition into the Home Office. Thank you very much for agreeing to accept this. We obviously, we know you, your position, you can't do anything. No. We hope that... Um, UKBA will um, change this ludicrous um, decision. Our, our university is, is bringing a judicial review action, as you probably know. We don't, want to, we don't want or need to go through this route. UKBA can reverse their decision now, say there will be a lot of money, save the misery that we are seeing on, a, on daily at our university for the 2,500 students. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. You've seen sure the level of right support place. that we had today. You've sure. seen hundreds of people come out. Indeed, this yeah. is just the beginning. We don't need this at a time yeah. of recession. We don't That's need fine. this at a time of perhaps when people are already anxious about their jobs security to please reverse this decision have you got anything you want to yeah exactly that, i would just want to add to what they've said they've pretty much said it all but you know this can't be happening every student has their right and you know it's just completely unfair there's no this need is a for legitimate this. student yeah this I'm, student. I'm, student. Yeah. Good well, I'm a home student i'm a okay. home student but this completely yeah. affects me as well it's not just about international students thank you for this i'll make sure it gets to the right place yeah. Yeah. Forward to okay thank you thank you thanks. all right bye-bye all of the london met unions that's ucu unison and the students union wants every single university and every single college next Friday to have a lunchtime protest where they come out of their colleges, of their universities, demand an amnesty for our students and also say stop these immigration controls that are attacking our students. Yeah. International students are not immigrants. International students are welcome here. We should be saying that loud and clear. They say deportation. We, we say education. They say deportation. We say education.